Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG, an immortal way of life. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 5,000 is on the way, just hit 4,900. So close, so close. Anyway, we're going to the sea today. It's happening. It's it's happening one way or the other. I'm ignoring everything and going to the sea. That's basically what, what, what I'm doing here. No, I just need... Double check, there's no missions. Okay, I'll do the... I'll do the random missions before I head there, because you never know. Today when you are walking in the mountains, when suddenly there's a clap of thunder, when you look up you see a thick thunder cloud gathering not far away. Not expecting to encounter a powerful breakthrough, you decide to, yeah, let's stop and watch and hope that they don't throw their fucking tribulation at me. You find a cave nearby and intend to take the opportunity to carefully observe it. First time you see a thunder cloud getting thicker and thicker. The lightning surges between the dark clouds that cover the sky, seemingly in the accumulation of the first thunderstorm. You waited for a long time and then a lightning bolt as thick as a water snake slashed down from the air and something seemed to pass through your mind at that moment. You take note of this subtle insight and prepare to return to a quiet place to feel it more carefully. Yeah, nice. Okay, next one. A gentle breeze blows by you and you squint subconsciously as something bright and shiny flies in your blurred vision. Yeah, go on, let's grab it. A linden flower falls into your palm. The journey to immortality is accompanied by various coincidences. You smile and suddenly you're blessed with a touch of the Tao. You keep it in your heart, intending to understand it more carefully when you have more time. My goodness, I'm just finding things left and right. I should really dwell on those things before... Like, how long do I have? Seven years. I need to go do that. That's a thing. Just to get more Golden Core buffs. But Pongsha Island. Let's... I'm pretty sure I have to go here. I could be wrong. But damn, I travel fast now. Okay, Bailey Mansion, hello. Young Master has left for the island of Hongsha with the family caravan a few days ago. If you have something important to do, you can go to the Endless Sea to look for him. Okie doke. Off to the port. Sail. Oh shit, I didn't need to buy a boat. Oh shit, okay. WASD to move. Oh... Boy. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. This seems like a bad move. <laughs> um. Uh. No, hang on. <laughs> wait a minute. How do I arrange to go to sea? Okay, it's not what I wanted. It takes. Wow. Months and months is going out to sea, Jesus. How do I repair this boat? Buy a spirit boat? Do I... 14... Okay, look, I can... I can let's go tier 2. 6,000. Look, I could... Let's go tier 3. Whoa, that escalated. How much money do I have? 56,000. That is enough for a tier 3. Is it wise of me? I don't know. All right, look, my life is priceless. So, oh, that was expensive. That was expensive. So, can I sail? Aha. Aha! Okay. But it takes so long out here. What do you mean? Six years, ten months. Oh god, what are they? Why are they there? Where is Pongsha Island, bro? What the fuck? Six years, eight months. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh my god. He's gonna fuck me up. Ooh, let's see how we go. 600 health is a lot. Okay. This is... This is going to be dangerous. That's what this is. Um... I do not want to know how much he hits. Here we go. Oh, he's a poisoner. Fuck. 24. Oh, bugger. Okay. 
Shit. And I'm pretty sure I didn't swap my thing. Fuck. Oh my god. I'm gonna take so much poison damage. Are you for real? Um, we're gonna run because I do not have my combat shit equipped. Everything is terrifying, but I'm really fast, so they can't catch me, suckers. All right, it's like a month per move. That ain't, that ain't right. I gotta go back. It's not worth it. Not right now. Just over a quarter of the way, someone texted me. Gathering minerals for my weapon. Okay. Random. Now, actually, just last episode, I was supposed to find a hall of spirit medicine to help the knee patriarch. I actually ended up stumbling across that when I was figuring out Elixir shortly after that. So I do actually have to go back to the knee house real quick. I think. I think. Ah. First thing you need to do is get the information from the medicine hall. And tell Nishu Shin he looks slightly moved. Seems to be to say what and hold that. You make no sense. But basically they don't know what it is. <laughs> what is your opinion, Mother Nee? I'm not going to lie. When we got this news, we went to the Heavenly Mystery Pavilion to inquire about the direction of where to find this. This mountain has been recorded several times and the Heavenly Mystery Pavilion has also sent cultivators to the east to investigate the trail but the East is so misty that even Jindan cultivators can lose their way in it. The Ni family's priest who was ordered to go to the EC to search for it lost, lost contact with us because of the fog. I can understand why. It's hectic out there. I'd like to thank me for bringing the news. I'm sure the Ni house will find a way to get to that mountain. I hope that later, if you find any traces, you can also let me know. I mean, sure, but... Wait, what? When Mushin has sent a letter saying you need your help, but he has not specified, okay? So that must have been the text message. Go to Yong'an Town. Okay, that's easy. Easy enough. How long do I have? Two years, four months. More than enough time, mate. Hello? Is there anybody with answers? You knock gently on the door. Who are you looking for? Her tone was not good and she didn't seem to welcome your visit. Ma'am, have you ever heard of Mount Taiji on the east coast? I have not heard of this mountain. You should ask someone else. After saying that, she gave you a wary look and closed the door. Okie doke, they definitely know about it. Some kind of worship deity in there, no doubt. You knock gently on the door. The house is silent as if no one is inside. Okay. I'm being avoided. You knock gently on the door. The house is silent. Oh, I'm definitely being avoided. That's very rude. You can't hide your secrets from me forever. You knock gently on the door. What is it, please? The door opens a small crack and he surveys you somewhat cautiously. I wonder if this brother has ever heard of Daiji Mountain on the sea to the east. I have not heard of it, but San, who lives across the street, often goes to sea, so why don't you go to his place and ask? Thinking it was out of caution for outsiders, he finished and closed the door. So do you mean this guy? Could it be that San is not at home? You knocked hard on the door, but the wooden door was not chained. The old wooden door creaked and you pushed it open with a crack. You quietly approached inside and looked in. You were shocked to see that the house was in a mess, with tables and chairs on the floor and china bowls and plates broken all over the place. What are you doing standing here sneaking around? A sudden voice from behind you startles you. You turn and find that somehow the town's residents have arrived. I've come to visit the owner of this house, but he does not seem to be here. Do you know where he's gone? I don't know you, so what did you come to the door for? You are Sen. I heard from the town residents that you've been to the AC. I'm here to inquire some things about the Sea Fairy Mountain. Although I often go out to the Sea to fish, I have not seen what immortal mountains you're talking about. Jin, you may please go back. I never told you my name. 
His eyes flicker and he looks like he knows something. Noticing his difference, you're about to ask a follow-up question when he's already pushed the door open and walked in. Seeing the scene inside the house, he rushed in with a pale face. He followed closely behind, and in addition to the furniture that had fallen to the east, a puddle of bright red blood in the corner attracted your attention. Apparently, San also saw the blood stains. His fists clenched and his face cracked, a look of anger. Bi Zhongtian, I can't spare you. I can help you. His family seems to have some kind of change. This kid is hiding something. If you want to know about that mountain, why don't you do him a favour? Oh, old man, we're on the same wavelength, bro. You ponder for a moment, thinking that what Wei Wuji said was not unreasonable. Has Brother San encountered any difficult problems? For the low price of everything you know, I can help you. You are a cultivator? I am. If you're not a cultivator, you better not get involved in this matter. As he finishes his words, you decide not to conceal your identity as a cultivator and tell him of your search for the sky scatter leaf. After hearing that your cultivator, his face eases a little when he explains the dispute. About myself? Or himself? My name is Tang Shan. Because of the similarity of the pronunciation, it's always called by the people in the town as Tang San. And over time, they directly call me San. I fish for a living, and Ra Ning also met me at sea. And that's your wife, I assume. People in town call her the fifth mother. He closed his mouth somewhat hesitantly, as if he was thinking about whether to continue. The Ryan clan is good at weaving, and the brocade woven by them shimmers in the sun and sparkles in the moonlight, and even the light reflects a soft glow, and it is called the Jingguan Jin. What a name. But the Ryan clan's hidden in the mountains, and they seldom appear in the world. So it has a high price, hard to find for a thousand dollars. Clear light brocard. I seem to have heard of this somewhere. Thousands of years ago, dowrous robes made of this fabric were popular among cultivators for a while. Then they were disliked again because they were flashy and unrealistic. If my memory is not, the original name of the fabric was Sailor's Veil, and a group of monks wanted to change it to this. Take the shark scales grinding power mixed into the dye bath and the silk thread dipped into the dye. The thread woven fabric in the lake can be seen like shark scales glittering. This is the shark yarn. Why are you telling me how to make this? Shark scales, then this Ryan clan is not. The most important thing is that it is a shark clan. I guess this Ruan Wu Nyang is also a shark in the form of a human. Oh my god. <laughs> Why not, man? Why not? Shark cultivators. Why not? I pity her hands. I don't want her to suffer from weaving. However, some days ago the sea wasn't calm and there was a food shortage. Ruan Nyang subsidized the family and planned to send some of this silk out. The two of us fought with him on the basis of our cultivation and he left in a hurry when he saw that he couldn't hurt us. I think he won't die. He's been planning to bring people to the door to take my mother away. Wait a minute. Your mother or your wife? Okay, those are two different things. Bi Zhongtian, tell me. Relies on his cultivator status to run amok, bullying the weak, and the town of Yongan is in chaos. I wanted to take it to Wuling City, but I didn't expect something would happen before I left. Do you know what his approximate cultivation level is and whether it's easy to deal with? Bi Zhongqian has been refining Qi for a while, but he has a large number of minions in that den of thieves, all of whom are his disciples. With just a few points of cultivation, Bi Zhongqian is, in, is uneducated, and he demands taxes from everybody. Okay, easy. B house, yep. But enough said, man. Tell me about the mountain real quick. You talk about Daiji Mountain on the EC. Exactly, do you know how to go there? I only know that there are people who are good at formations in this mountain, and the mist we see is a blindfold of the formations. Ran Yang's hometown is in that mountain. If you want to know more detailed information, you can only ask her after rescuing her. Fair enough. Easy. Mate with Bee House. That one. Okay. Knock, knock. If you're only going to be chi gathering... As soon as you step into the place, several richly dressed, wealthy, landlord-like people surround you. You can detect a meager aura in their bodies. These should be the disciples of Bijong Chan, as Sam describes. Who's here? What are you doing? What? Let, let you what? Unbridled. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a while. <laughs> Unbridled. You know whose territory this is? Yeah, this is terrible. Can we just kill them? 
They seem to treat you like an ordinary citizen and scream at you to teach you a lesson. You look at their arrogance and decide to teach them a lesson instead. Let's have a look. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What have you done? What have you made me do? Look, I'll give you... I'll give you the first hit. That's only fair. I'll give you three moves. <laughs> and if you kill me, you kill me. No. No, I didn't even touch you. Why did you lose half, half your health? What do you mean? That's the only way you're going to die. I'm not even going to touch you. It's just going to be hidden wounds. <laughs> How much shield can I get? 106 shield. I believe in you. Yeah. I didn't even do anything. You just cast a spell and beat them up. And they run away. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'd run away too if I was a normal person and he just started fucking casting spells at me. This place is stacked with grain and bacon. Bacon? Nice. Who cares about a jewellery? Let's take the bacon. I think Bijong Chan scavenged from the townspeople. Yeah, I mean, you can't use the mortal stuff and I, I, I can have the bacon. I can have the bacon. Just because I don't need it doesn't mean I don't want it. Master, someone is challenging us. He shouted while running away in a huff. Amazing that you can escape from me when I can run away from gold core people. Before you could step into the house, you heard a deafening rebuke from inside. Be quicker, like a... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm the only one allowed to swear here. Like a pussy motherfucker. I <laughs> oh... Wow. San, who obviously couldn't bear to see Wu Yang suffer, looked at you with anger. You nod to him. He rushed open and kicked open the door. The situation inside the door was tightly covered by a big male cultivator who must be the Bi Xiong Chan that San was talking about. You use your divine sense to test and find that although this person has qi refinement cultivation, his body has mixed spiritual energy, and there is a hidden phase of Dan poison in his body. It seems his cultivation is piled up by pills. But the price of pills to grow cultivation is expensive. Ordinary people simply can't afford it. I mean, yeah. He's got someone, he's got a backer. Surely someone's going to fly in and scream caught in death. Surely. What kind of master has this kind of disciple? You took her and asked us what we're doing here. What a bully. And don't think that I'm afraid of you just because you've got a helper. See if you can kill me. After saying that, he rushed in your direction. Yeah, let's have a look at you. Oh dear. You don't get the first move this time. Goodbye. You solved him immediately. Then he knew that he had kicked an iron plate. His face turned pale when he rushed to beg. The little one has eyes but doesn't know Mount Ty. Yes, it was said. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the title. That is the title. First time that was said. Please forgive this little one. This little one here will get Ruan Wu Yang. Yeah, you better. He hurried to the warehouse inside the house and brought out a well-dressed woman in no time. All right. So, not his mother. His mother, just like her name is just similar to mother. It's his wife. Okay. He happened to capture a glimpse of Bi Zhong Tian who was sneaking away. Yeah. Where are you going, mate? You sacrificed a flying sword and it pierced his calf. Seeing that his retreat has been broken, he showed his ferocity. You dare hurt me, I must ask my dad to get me justice. Ah, classic. Hearing his threat, you suddenly feel that this person must not stay in order to avoid trouble in the future. It's better to kill him with one stride. That's it, man. Grass by the roots. He saw that you had a killing intent and wanted to stop you. But unexpectedly, a, short, a sword shadow flew across, and in the blink of an eye, he was no longer angry. Seeing he doesn't know that Bi Zhong Jian's father has built the foundation for many years, and he also has a place in Hishan Road. Of course he does. I'm afraid that getting rid of him will cause a lot of trouble. Hishan Road again. We often deal with them in this immortal realm. Niang Ruan, I have met Senior. Thanks to him I can rescue you so quickly. I went from a disciple to a, to a senior so quick. 
you know, like uh, my head's spinning. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that means ancestor. Thank you, ancestor, for your life-saving grace. Yang Ryan has nothing to do with it, so I'll give you this brocard, okay? Yeah, it's useless to me. I came to inquire about that mountain, but I don't know how much you know. Miss Shark. She looked her husband in a dilemma, and the latter nodded to her with a smile before she started to speak. If you have anything you want to ask, I know everything, but I can't say everything. How do I get there? Only the residents know how to get there, although I have lived on the mountains. When I decided to follow Asha to Yongan, they took my memory of the road from my sea of knowledge. It's erased. It's not that I don't want to tell you, it's that I really can't remember. That's fair. That's smart. Ten out of ten. Good defence. Sky Scarlet I have seen this kind of spirit here when I was young. The growth conditions of it are very unique, and I only see it occasionally by the Yuliang Bridge in the foot of the mountain. Though I can't return there, if you need this herb, I can try to summon my tribe. Please let me have a shark now. Lee! It turns out that back then, many people wanted to find out where the shark clan resided so that they could be wiped out to make them produce shark yarn, but they were never able to do so. Unexpectedly, the sharks from the mountain would have their memories erased, and even they would not be able to return. Yeah, I mean... Let's hope the sharks are nice, I guess. You decide to live in Yongin Town temporarily. Yep, that's fair. But I mean, I, I have a time limit here, you know. After you stayed in town for a few days, Ruan Wu Yang finally brought news. Senior, I asked my third sister to fetch this elixir from Yu Liang. Do you think it's what you asked for? Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. I honestly thought I'd have to go back to the sea. Now that I've attained this spear grass, I will leave. You pack up and bid farewell. Alright, yeah, bye. Bye, motherfuckers. I'm out. Two years, four months. We're fine. We're fine. We've got time. We've got time. Side quest. It's late. Tired of rushing, you decide to borrow a night in the roadside temple tonight. The old yellow sutra stream is in the temple, rustle in the night breeze, and with this sound you fall asleep. When you wake up, the dilapidated house you stayed in last night be suddenly becomes rich and beautiful, and the table in front of the Buddha statue is full of snacks and fresh fruits. You slept the whole night, and now you're hungry. I, you just said I didn't need mortal food, and we gave up the bacon. I... <sighs> fine. Looking at the tribute, you decide to go hungry. I'm not eating that shit. That's dodgy as hell. You feel that there's something fishy about this, and shake your head hard. After a trance, you open your eyes again, and the temple is back to its dilapidated... Yeah, that's a trick. Nice try. I'm big brain. You hide in a hidden place and listen in secret. It turns out that two monks are arguing with each other, and neither of them, neither of them can convince the other. So they argue. As you hear their respective opinions, your mind is slightly moved, and you plan to... Yeah, let's discuss. On a whim, you come out of your hiding place to join the discussion. The two monks didn't reject you, and when they saw you join them, they were eager to share their views, hoping you would judge it. You've been thinking about it for a long time, and you've combined their perceptions to create another insight. The two monks were satisfied with the results and bid you farewell. Yeah, nice. Look at me, I'm just going around solving people's problems. Okay, knee house, let's go. I solved your problem, literally again. Jingy Mei, what is it? You tell Nishu Shin exactly what happened, then hand the sky scarlet leaf you received to him. Nishu Shin looked as if he was dumbfounded, seemingly overwhelmed by the sudden happy news. Jingy Mei, this elixir, you name a price, no matter how much, we'll pay it. You and I have known each other for literally 117 years. Like, come on, man. You and I have known each other for a long time. How dare you think I'm a villain who takes advantage of people's problems? It was me who was wrong. This is a great kindness without words of thanks. The first thing I'd like to do is to give this medicine to the elders so that they can quickly refine it. I've told the elders about this. About ten more days and the pill will be refined. This is a small gift from the house of me. Please accept it. Okay. I'm not sure how long it will take for the Nee family head to wake up. Whoa, yeah boy. Fifty grand. Should help you more often. I asked the elders, my father will need a period of time to fully recover. If you want to inquire about the Imperial Sword Sick, why not come back in a month? You, do you mean a literal month? Like a, like a, like a literal month? Did he mean next month? Because it's been a month. Ah. Is he, is he, is he alive? Thanks to your elixir, the Patriarch is now okay. 
The Patriarch reminded this old servant when he was getting better a few days ago that if you visit, he'll take you to the Bai D Tower. Okay. Jing Yi Mei, you didn't come here with any problems? You look at Patriarch Ni quietly. His slightly pale face still has an invincible aura. It seems that the worshippers of the Ni Mansion have quite a means to remove his disease in just a few dozen days. Everything is fine. I wonder how you're doing lately. Thanks to the young friend Sky Scout Leaf, I'm sure I'll be able to recover in a few days. I know you have a lot of unanswered questions. If you have anything you want to know, just ask. Explain the sword. He pondered for a moment, as if organising himself. The second brother is loyal and pure in nature. This time he was somehow caught in the conspiracy of tricks. Everyone in the Knee Mansion has taken him under control and escorted him to the secret realm for treatment. I hope that the elders in Enshrinement can get rid of the magic goo in the second brother as soon as possible so that he can restore his original mind. I knew it. I knew it. It was that pill bottle that we took from that place. <laughs> Ooh, awkward. Fairy killing sword. What you mentioned in... When you mention the Slaughter Immortal Sword, you have to talk about the Xian Sword Formation. It's infinitely powerful and unpredictable. Illusion and reality in the formation are in the form of false and real spells, which will shake the minds of those who enter it. If the cultivation level is insufficient, they will die on the spot. This formation consists of four magic swords, and the Slaughtering Immortal is sword is one of them. The rest are, respectively, Zhu Xian Jian, Absolute Immortal Sword, and Trapped Immortal Sword. Each of the swords has its own strength, and it can be used in different ways. 10,000 years ago in Ningxuo's Battle of Righteous Demons, Jin Hong Jiang Xian, wow, that's a name, forcefully broke through the formation with his unique sword intent and even broke the plane barrier, and involved the entire area into another small space with four magic swords. To this day, his whereabouts are unknown. This small independent space is the so-called historic site of Ningxuo. Later, the monks in there exhausted their manpower to search for and search for the historic site several times before they found the slaughter sword, which was handed over to the Bai Di and Wuling city for safekeeping. The fairy sword was retrieved by the demon sect, but the whereabouts of the other two are unknown. The demon sect has been silent for thousands of years and the plan to res retrieve my sword under the guise of second brother is just beginning. I know you have a lot, yep, okay, yep, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Patriarch Nee, speaking of which, there's one thing I'm very concerned about. Where is this historic site? The ancient ruins in Ningzhou are the remains of the battlefield formed after the war in ancient times. Because of the accumulation of spiritual power, the space is distorted and they rarely appear here. Only when their spiritual power fluctuations reach an agreement with the mainland will they be located north of Aeonic Sands Temple in the desert. When does it open, please? Every thousand years. Holy. The historic sites in Ningzhou will be opened in about 383. Holy. All right, I think Jing's little friend has a commendable heart. For many years, you haven't been disturbed by distracting thoughts. Your Tao is still as firm as when you first arrived here. It's very good. I hope you will not lose your original heart and understand the method of Tao soon. In ancient times, the historic site was considered to be a relatively prosperous city. Later, it declined because it became the main battlefield of the battle between cultivators and the demons. The entire city collapsed due to the huge spiritual power and fell into the turbulence of time and space. That is some shit. That is some strong power, okay? Magical and spiritual artifacts can be seen everywhere around these sites. In addition, the great powers of ancient times have also left a lot of inheritance in them. The monks who have been able to attain them over the years, without exception, have all achieved good fortune, and they are one step away from being a god. It can be said that as long as you obtain the inheritance from the ancient ruins, you will open the door to the transformation stage. However, the inheritance in the ancient ruins is in a dangerous place. These historic sites are a place of rare good fortune, but the hidden dangers and murderous opportunities in them are enough to make people put off. Opportunities always go hand in hand with risks. If there is a chance to go there, you must keep this in mind. Nice. Can I just walk in? If you want to enter, you can only forcibly break in when the space barrier is weak. Yep. So, 383. Only Jin Dan can open it. That's fair. I am not golden core yet 383 years plenty of time mate oh, i've spoken enough today i will definitely come to visit again after the family family master recovers okay we've learned things today 382 years and three months j zeus there's only 32 years till the 100 year competition oh my god i don't think i think 32 years 
big brain maths, 4K per month, 48K per year, 20 years will get me almost ready, but I still need to do the Heavenly Devils, which I'm going to do off camera and then get all that done, as well as more Elixir stuff, just because it seems necessary for Golden Court. So with that being said, I'm going to leave this one here, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We're definitely getting places, finally, even though it's been 117, let's just say 118 years. My lifespan is... I, I will make it. I'm 129. I have 70 years. I will be Golden Core in 25, max. That's my, that's my guesstimation, but we'll see. As always, have a great day.